Every gold bar locked inside a vault represents the end of an unbelievable journey. A journey built on power, danger, science, engineering, and fire. But its story doesn't begin here. It begins far away from any vault, deep in the mountains, hidden beneath the earth. The journey of gold starts right here, in the mountains, where it lies trapped deep underground. Before a single gram of gold is mined, someone has to find it. Geologists scan remote mountain ranges, examine rock faces, and drill dozens of test holes. Every sample goes through detailed laboratory analysis. If the concentration of gold is high enough, the landscape is about to change forever. Engineers approve the project, construction teams bring in heavy equipment, environmental scientists document the valley before mining begins, and soon, a quiet stretch of wilderness begins its transformation into one of the most powerful industrial machines on Earth. The projected yields are exceeding expectations, Madam Chair. The data is compelling. The journey begins at the remote mine, tracing a direct path across the rugged terrain to the central processing facility. And now, the real digging begins. To reach the gold-bearing rock, thousands of tons of earth must be removed. This is precision engineering. Every blast is calculated long before the explosion. The detonation shatters the rock, opening the earth. Excavators move in, loading the broken ore. And ultra-class haul trucks, the giants of mining, carry their payload toward the processing plant. Look at the size of that cabin. How is he supposed to see us from up there? We just have to assume he can't. Now the ore begins its transformation. Massive boulders crash into the crushing system. First, coarse rock is broken into smaller pieces. Then huge grinding mills, filled with steel balls, pulverize the ore until it becomes a fine powder. Mixed with water, this powder becomes a thick slurry. Inside it are tiny particles of gold, finally freed from the rock. Laboratories check the process constantly, making sure the ore is ready for the next step, separation.
Now the search for gold becomes chemistry. First comes gravity. Heavy gold settles while lighter minerals wash away. Next, flotation. Millions of air bubbles carry gold particles to the surface, forming a dense froth. Then the most important step, dissolving the remaining gold into a chemical solution and capturing it with activated carbon. At this stage, the gold is nearly free. Once the chemistry is confirmed at the laboratory scale, the same process is applied to the full volume of ore slurry. Massive leaching tanks dissolve the gold, oxygen aeration accelerates the reaction, and activated carbon captures the invisible gold atoms from millions of liters of solution. What began as microscopic tests now becomes a large-scale industrial separation process, concentrating gold from the entire batch of processed material. As you can see, the gold-loaded carbon on the right is significantly denser and heavier than the virgin carbon on the left. In electro-winning cells, an electric current pulls the gold out of the solution. It forms a metal coating on the cathodes, the first solid gold since it left the mountain. The material is washed, filtered, dried, and tested. This is the last step before the furnace. At more than 1,064 degrees Celsius, nearly 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit, gold becomes liquid fire. The molten metal swirls inside the crucible, glowing bright orange. Workers pour it into molds, where it cools and solidifies into rough bars called doré. These bars are refined to 99.99% .99 purity and prepared for their final destination. As the gold cools, the rough shapes are transformed into precise, standard bars. Robotic arms lift each bar from its mold and place it onto a production line. Every bar is weighed, measured, and checked against strict international standards. Serial numbers are stamped in, purity marks are added, and each bar receives its unique identity. What started as scattered particles of metal deep inside a mountain is now a certified financial asset. 
recognized and trusted anywhere in the world. And now the journey comes to an end. Inside secured warehouses, pallets of gold bars stretch as far as the eye can see. Every bar is weighed, documented, and guarded around the clock. Movement detected. Exterior wall perimeter. Tracking the heat signature now. Appears to be small animal, likely a rat. From here, armored convoys transport the gold to national vaults, the safest places on the planet. And finally, Elite loaded gate, gate baiting green dot the air lens of convoy exiting the gate. All units report green. Sierra one, perimeter secure. Behind massive steel doors, the gold is stored for decades to come. A journey thousands of miles long, completed. This is the real story behind a single bar of gold.